Uh, well, Father David is a force uh, uh, on the south side of San Antonio. He has done a tremendous job with these missions. And of course, we all knew when he came from the cathedral and was assigned then to the missions, we knew that he would be so successful in raising the funds and bringing that notoriety and passion to the missions. And he's done a phenomenal job. I mean, the, the re restoration of these missions uh, is, is awe-inspiring. I mean, I walk into these chapels and I see how beautiful they are, and I know that it's because of the work that he's done. Well, Father David's been a friend to Tracy and I for about 25 years, I guess. Uh, he's done some remarkable work here. Uh, San Fernando Cathedral, the plaza that's in front of it, None of that have been there without Father David's uh, continuing to push us and get it done. And then what he did with the missions. The four churches inside the missions laying south on the river, I think he raised something like $16 million to restore all four of them. They're absolutely beautiful. Uh, in fact, the uh, church at Concepcion, where he is now the uh, priest, uh, is probably the best example of the, of the restoration. So. Uh, very, very good guy and been a tremendous uh, uh, leader for San Antonio. Father David Garcia, what a bundle of faith and energy he is uh, with uh, the work that he does inside the churches at the missions, from the humanitarian work he has done around the world, from being such an advocate for the South Side in which he's found a home and which he has reached out to homes and businesses throughout the area. We are fortunate to have him as a part of our community, as an advocate for progress, and with a compassionate heart, a person who truly lives his faith. Well, first of all, I, when I entered the seminary and began to focus on becoming a priest as I got older, I guess I finally made my decision maybe at the age of around 21 or so, where I thought, okay, this is it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this. I always just, envisioned myself as a parish priest probably working with Hispanics because I was Hispanic and there were not that many like me and so I, I saw myself on the west side the south side pretty much in a parish and just going from parish to parish for all my ministry I had no idea that I would do all the things that ultimately I did you know get involved in the Pope's visit be the secretary to Archbishop Flores you know be at the cathedral do the restoration of the cathedral build those buildings and now the missions none of that and then raise the millions and millions of dollars. I had no idea that that was gonna happen. And if I knew all of that, I probably would have quit. <laughs> um, a lot of work was done way before me, that's for sure. And um, they had already been thinking about it. You know, it's been almost a, almost a 10 year process. They said nine years. And, and then I, got, I came on the scene somewhere around 07, I think maybe a year or two into the process. And then of course, when I began to raise the money and do a serious restoration of the missions, then kind of the visibility went up, then the prospects I think improved because uh, all of these missions had to be uh, reviewed and looked at and the question is are you all serious about upkeeping these historical sites because if you get named uh, a World Heritage Site you're obligated to keep them up the best that you can and so when we raised uh, 15 and a half, 16 million dollars and began to do a serious restoration of the interiors of the missions and then the exterior, for example, of the facade of San Jose, the Rose Window, all of those projects really helped to uh, let the World Heritage people know we're serious about the maintenance, this is gonna be first class. We're, and then I began to build up an endowment fund and then that endowment fund, we told that to the UNESCO people, look, we're serious, we have an endowment fund, that endowment fund is gonna be there forever. These missions will be here forever. We are committed to upkeeping them and we're putting serious money into it and serious work into it. And I think that was my piece of it. Now, everybody else had lots more pieces that I think ultimately helped the uh, UNESCO to say, yes, they're, they're, they're worth the designation. But our piece of it, I think, was critical and important uh, and it added to the, entire, to the entire work. It's now the moment of the South Side, as far as I can see. And this has been building up gradually the last uh, maybe five to 10 years, maybe even more than that. Probably people have been working on the South Side, certainly the Chamber and other people that have dedicated their lives to the South Side, have brought business, have brought all kinds of activity. They probably could tell me, oh, well, you know, we've been doing this for years and years, but I see the moment, and especially with the completion of the whole river, 
when the mission reach of the river finished, that was a signal that the county, the city, the river authority, all these different groups had come together to say, this is a major investment. We're really gonna make a difference. And it wasn't just the river, it was adding all the little parks that were attached to the river, the, the Concepcion Sports Park. There was a huge commitment to the South Side. Now we're starting to see the ripple effect of that investment. We're starting to see people wanting to move now to the South Side. We're starting to see the apartments uh, going up. We're starting to see new businesses. We're starting to see the city put a little extra effort into uh, fixing the infrastructure. I think it's our moment. I think the South Side is here. And I think uh, we're gonna show them that this is going to be good development, positive development that's gonna involve the community, but also going to really move us forward um, into, the next, uh, into the next 10, 20 years. And I think we're gonna be very proud of what we see. The UNESCO de designation is just really adding to that because it's giving us visibility, it's giving us international recognition, people are gonna start coming, and when people come to the missions, they stay a little bit, they eat in the area, maybe they'll be looking for a hotel, they'll be maybe taking a bike ride, they'll be doing other things. There's going to be more economic activity generated because of that. And, and you can see, obviously, the growth along Southwest Military, you can see the growth with Toyota, you can see the growth with Brooks, you can see the growth with uh, Texas A&M, Palo Alto, everything is starting to come together I think it's, it's the moment where the South Side is really going to be shining.